Mm-hmm. People were roaring at that movie, you know? Yeah. And, and uh, I mean, that was, it was like ridiculous. That one was a lot of fun. Yeah, exactly. I, I didn't get to go to that one. Oh, uh, you missed yeah. out. <laughs> I really did. And I'm for, I, I can't go to the one tomorrow. I'm going to California. Oh, oh, so, yeah, oh. I know. <laughs> yeah, bummer. I'm not going to tell you guys what it's going to be. Fair oh, enough. Yeah, okay. I, can't, I can't. I can't, you know. It's always a surprise. I don't want yeah. it to leak, yeah, yeah. you know. So, yeah. Yeah, so there you go. Yeah. Weirdo Wednesdays. It's a blast, you know. <laughs> Definitely. Come down. And they serve beer now, which is nice. <laughs> Which will make it even weirder, oh and so <laughs> all those, those bad movies will get even better. Oh my god. The, the more you drink, the better they get. So. <laughs> That's my advice. <laughs> if you're not liking the movie, order another beer. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Exactly. Exactly. So. Yeah. What else do you guys want to know? Uh, I want to know more about the clip that we're going to be seeing from your movie, God of Vampires. Okay. Um, you guys going to show the trailer? Uh, yes. Or, oh, okay. Like yeah. Alright, so this is the trailer to God of Vampires. God of Vampires, um, it came out in 2010. It actually, we started making the movie 10 years before. And I always had it in my mind that I wanted to make a feature film, like yourself. Mm-hmm. And uh, back in 2000, um, the you know shooting on digital wasn't as viable. Like it wasn't, didn't look as good yet. So we shot it on 16 millimeter film. Hmm. And uh, I raised like $26,000. We started shooting. And uh, have you ever heard of the concept that like you can make, you can pick two of the following cheap, fast, or good, right? You can't have all three, right? Hmm. So you gotta, if you want it to be good and, and it has to be cheap, you cannot do it fast. And that was our issue was it mm. took us a long time to make the movie because we wanted to make it decent and we had to make it cheap because we had no money. It just wasn't a choice. Um, so basically what happened was uh, we started shooting this movie and uh, we all worked, did different jobs. I, at the time, uh, delivered auto parts for uh, Manzi Dodge and Lawrence. It's no longer existing. Um, and... You know, every weekend we would shoot a scene or do this and that here, and, or build sets. We'd find abandoned buildings. We'd find ways. Like we're basically the real guerrilla filmmakers. Like we, we were the filmmakers that, you know, did everything um, as if we were beggars in the film world. Uh, some movie that I worked on would be getting rid of all of their set materials, and so I, I was like, all right, I'm gonna rent a U-Haul take all of their stuff, break it down for them, throw it in a U-Haul, and then bring it to our set and build our own sets with free material. Because they're just going to trash it. Yeah. Right? So I'm like, that's what you got to do. You know? Uh, I had one guy um, who was an amazing makeup artist. I worked on the movie um, Mona Lisa Smile. So I worked with this um, uh, makeup artist, John Caglione Jr. He's an Academy Award winner. And I showed him the trailer for God of Vampires, the one, not the one you're going to see, but um, the one that uh, we kind of made before the movie was finished. Mm -hmm. We made this little clip. And he came up to me and he's like, man, that's awesome. I was like, this is really good. I can't believe you did this. And I was like, yeah, you know, he's like, do you need anything? And John, you know, said, I'll tell you what, I have a bunch of stuff in my shop, just prosthetics from different movies. And, uh, I'm, you know, they're just collecting dust. Give me your address, I'll send them to you, and you can use them for the movie. Mm-hmm. So we had all these foam latex pieces from the movie Heat, <laughs> Robert De Niro and Al Pacino. Yeah. And he sent them to me, and they were like bullet hits in the head, and wow. broken arms, and oh. all that stuff made it into the movie somewhere. Yeah. You know, yes. I mean, just like people, uh, when you're doing the super low-budget thing, mm-hmm. and you have nothing, you really have no choice but to beg, borrow, and steal. Yeah. Um, and the coolest thing was that after I made that movie, I, I got into uh, Fangoria magazine. Um, hmm. Had like a four-page article in Fangoria about nice. our film, cool. and in a way, for a horror fan, that's kind of like a milestone, yeah. you know. And um, so there it was, you know, in Fangoria. I'm like, all right, you know. So I, I took that article and cut it out and framed it, hmm. you know. It was a good, awesome. proud moment. Yeah. 
And so, yeah. Great. Awesome. Well, uh, we'll be watching that, and after we will be back after this preview. I hope you guys enjoyed that very much. Uh, you will be able to find uh, God of Vampires very, very soon, probably like in our description on our YouTube. Um, but back to the interview. Thank you very much, Rob, for being here. Thank sure. you very much, Kyle, for being here as well. Yeah, These no are problem. both like two new people. Really, really appreciate them being on the show. So uh, for our last question, I've got to know, Rob, being a horror guy, vampire or zombies? Now, what about like vampire zombies? Which is worse, or <laughs> if they were to fight each other? Like, what's the what's the question? I would like to know probably like personal preference, and then who would win in a fight. Okay, so personal preference, um, I both like them quite a bit. And my movie's about Chinese vampires, so it's a very different animal, <laughs> um, and they both have a very important role in uh, like our our culture. You know, because monsters represent part of us. I think it all is always different, or it, it, it kind of is, is cyclical where, you know, all of a sudden zombies are popular and then vampires are popular and they kind of replace each other. But uh, I would have to say that zombies have the edge in the sense that uh, they are a perfect tool for social metaphor and, and mm -hmm. social mm -hmm. commentary. Um, in, in that regard. Now, yes. uh, vampires and zombies in a fight, well, you know, uh, I would have to say that uh, probably vampires, because yeah. vampires are cognizant, um, and they could, you know, like they, they can think, and zombies just swarm, so vampires have, like, the edge. They can, they can get away. Mm -hmm. The fact is there's a ton of zombies. You know, but I think a vampire would be able to avoid them. You know, yeah. and and you know he could probably you know I don't know whatever the vampire's powers are because it's always vastly different. Mm -hmm. They could probably do things to get away from the zombies or make themselves quiet because they don't have a heartbeat and mm -hmm. whatever. Um, what would I be more afraid of? Um, I would have to say that probably, you know. If you're gonna be attacked by either, you're probably all done anyway. Yeah. But a vampire, you may be able to negotiate with. Mm. You know what I mean? Like you might be able to talk your way out of it. Mm -hmm. Zombies, no. 
and and, yeah. and I would be much rather killed by a vampire who bit your neck than to be eaten alive by zombies. Because if yeah. you were eaten alive by zombies, you know that's that's you know total predator tearing you to pieces. Yeah, that would be incredibly painful. Mm-hmm. So knowing that, I would have to go with I'd be more afraid of zombies than than vampires. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, it's a very thin edge. Yeah. So yeah, that, those are my answers to those questions. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Is that acceptable? You guys kept with that. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah. I, I can. I've thought that. about it a lot. I've thought about it a lot. So, you know, every day. <laughs> so Kyle, what about you? What do you think? You know, I'm kind of with Rob on like all three of those. Like zombies are a really good metaphor for whatever needs to be commentated on at the time. Mm-hmm. Vampires have think have the ability to think, so that gives them a huge edge. And, yeah, I'd prefer getting killed by a vampire rather than a zombie because I don't want to get ripped up. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, in a vampire, you might yeah, exactly. be able to become a vampire. Yeah, yeah. Which wouldn't be all oh, that yeah. bad. Yeah. Right? That's right. You know, that's I mean, right. Right. Yeah, that, being a vampire is cool. <laughs> yeah. Being a zombie would, would, I mean, whatever. It would suck. you just like a... Uh. And I don't buy those movies where the zombie can kind of think. Mm-hmm. You know, and yeah. like, you know, like warm bodies or whatever, where they're yeah. like, where it's like a romance, you know, mm-hmm. I mean, it's a, it's a, they're making a comment on it, but yeah, yeah no, like <laughs> there's no zombies that are like, you know, oh, I'm going to get better now. No, <laughs> yeah. you're dead. You're rotting. It's bad. <laughs> you know? All right. Yeah. Well, again, thanks so much for being on the show. Thanks. Yes. Uh, Thank this you. is yeah. actually potentially our finale. Oh, okay. Very potentially. Okay. So thank well, you guys so much. Save the best yeah, for last. <laughs> <laughs> All right, great. Uh, so this has been Ray Sam. Kyle. <laughs> and Rob Fitz. And stay tuned for the previews. <laughs>